boys and girls, the moment you've been waiting for is here. We are gonna finish the old shop house. And this time we are doing the outside of the house. I'm gonna show you how to paint it using this uh, model of the house and then I will swap it with the actual house. We're gonna start with the um, black rooftop. I will paint everything except for the little button that we use to, uh, you know, when we close the, the flap here. And then I go up to the top of the chimney, painting it solid black. Uh, and uh, the rest of the chimney stays cardboard brown. Down to the side, all the way down to the wall of the house. There. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole roof at the moment because I'm eager to move on to the blue wall. So let's get the blue out. I start up here painting straight down by this flap because I want the flap here that goes onto the roof when we close it uh, stays um, cardboard colored. And down here I have drawn a straight line to separate the ground floor and the first floor because I want the blue color to go down to here so that we keep the ground floor in a cardboard brown color. We continue on the back of the house giving the whole big back of the house a solid blue color. Okay, that's enough. Let's have a look at the actual house. Whoa! Here you can see that I have finished uh, the painting uh, on the back and uh, on the roof. And you can see that I've even started putting in some roof tiles and some wood panelings uh, on the top. Now I've done a few things down here. I'm gonna explain this for you in a little bit. Uh, let me first show you how to do the roof tiling. I'm gonna open up this a little bit so we can see the roof tiles. Look at this now. I have made uh, with a uh, white pencil and a ruler, I have made a grid. Each uh, little rectangle is a roof tile. Then you get a very fine brush and then dilute some paint with a bit of water so that it's quite thin because it then it flows better from your tiny little brush. And then you brush in the lines. There. Now, when the tiles are dry, you can remove any unwanted pencil lines with a normal eraser. So you just erase and take away the lines. <laughs> then I'm gonna show you how to do the wood paneling in front. Uh, I better put the, this uh, down carefully, get my ruler and uh, a dark blue color pencil. Now each plank is seven millimeters uh, wide, so I make a seven millimeter uh, uh, mark here, positioning the ruler right and then draw a line. And I make it quite thick as well, I don't want it too thin, I want it nice nice and thick there beautiful now before we open up the house and have a look at it let's finish the shop front i have cut out windows just like i did uh, up here i have the windows down here only these windows are a little bit uh, wider so these patches are backgrounds for the windows i also have a door with uh, windows up here um, and I also have a window frame for the top window up here. So let's uh, glue it all on. Beautiful. Then comes the round window on top. I've made this uh, cute little flower here but as you can see uh, the wall divides in two so I have to cut this in two as well sticking out a bit but I can uh, snip that off with a knife later. Then I've got these decorative little pieces that goes above the other windows. I've made a frame for the bathroom window on the back as well. A little ring. Simple but nice. But no shop is complete without a shop sign. We need one over here. Luckily, I made one earlier. 
and this shop is going to be called the shop house. Surprise, yeah. Okay, so it goes on right above here. Now, I've made it very simply from a piece of paper, same as the windows, and I cut this shape out of it. And then carefully with my blue uh, color pencil made a line around it, a border around it like that and some little decorative um, symbols and then using a uh, um, rubber tipped marker I have carefully drawn in these letters. Of course I had to use a ruler to make sure everything was straight but just taking your time and actually writing letters like that is easier than you think. Now before we consider it finished I just want to add some tiny little details some small circular dots on top of each uh, window decoration and some tiny painted ornaments and doorknobs and now we can open up the house and do the last details Ooh, exciting exciting right now you see here that there is a door frame missing here too and I have it right here window decorations and a little dot on top okay all the people in the universe it's time Pack your stuff, you're moving in. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my uh, video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe so that you won't miss hundreds of epi other episodes and uh, future episodes and other episodes that is coming quite soon.